Expanders, do you need one? Time for some pfo so you know where you're going. Welcome back everybody, I'm Dr. Ryan Packard at Packard Family Orthodontics. Today, we're gonna talk about expanders. What is an expander, what's it used for, and how would one come about this expander? Tell me more. Before we get into it, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel so that I can take you into the world of straight teeth and beautiful bites. Also, if you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment. I can try to respond and or maybe I'll make a video just for you. Oh, and of course, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. So, expanders, what are they? First off, expanders are orthodontic appliances, at least in the orthodontic sense. I don't know of any other expanders. Maybe there's, I'm sure there are in different industries, but in the orthodontic sense, an expander is an appliance that goes in or can go into the top of your mouth and or the bottom of your mouth. And it's then used to expand or spread apart teeth and possibly a little bit of the bone. Most of the expansion that you probably know about is done in kids who are younger or haven't gone through puberty yet. There's different kinds of expanders. This is just one design. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. It goes in the top of your mouth like this. Ah, like that, I'm not gonna do it. Anyways, <laughs> you can see this expander is a variation of what is called the Haas expander. What you're trying to do is get palatal, that's the top bone, palatal expansion and or spreading apart of the teeth. There's different components of the expander. We have these metal rings. These are called bands. We've talked about them in previous episodes. Metal bands are fitted to the back teeth and then they're glued into place. Now it's really stuck. Part of the expander has these uh, other metal components that rest against your teeth or on your teeth. Then there's this middle portion. This is the screw. This screw has multiple different holes. And what you do is you take an expander key like this and you stick that in the these little holes. Find the hole and bada bing, bada boom. It's in, it goes in there. And then you follow the arrow, which is pointing backwards and you turn backwards. That's what forces the expander apart. So this can be glued into the top of your mouth and then you turn with the key and it makes the expander widen. Okay. In the top, it can expand or change both the palatal bone, the top bone, jaw bone, and move the teeth apart. That makes sense. There's different kinds of expanders, different variations of the expanders, like this one. Same thing, it's got those bands in the back. It's got the metal arms that kind of come to the front and rest against the teeth. And then it's got this middle section right here where you have the screw and you put the key in there and you turn it. This one doesn't have that really cool pink stuff that goes against your palate. Different orthodontists like to use different styles of expanders and they can add cool things on it to help with different problems. Or if you have different teeth, they use different designs. There's also an expander for the bottom. This is called a Schwartz appliance. It's showtime. But it has cool colors, has similar components like the screw in the middle. You use the same key, your orthodontist will have plenty, and you insert it into one of the holes and then you turn based on how often your orthodontist has instructed you. And what it does is it pushes those bottom teeth out. Now, some differences. The bottom expander doesn't really change the bone as much, at least the base bone. It doesn't change that bone as much as the top expander does for the top bone. Depending on how often your orthodontist tells you to turn your expander, you will have different effects on the bone and the teeth. Expanders need to stay in your mouth for at least a few months. In my office, we usually keep it in there longer than just a few months. Sometimes the duration of an early treatment just to help hold the teeth out where they were or where we move them to, and it kind of acts as like an anchor. But sometimes that's really hard because it can be hard to clean or hard to maintain, and baby teeth are falling out, so it's just different. You need to talk to your orthodontist if you're getting expanders. Do it right now. Okay, so we talked about what an expander is or can be. We talked about what it can do. It can change bones a little bit and spread teeth out, specifically on the top. Well, why would one need an expander? I don't know. Probably the biggest reason why somebody would need an expander, at least on the top, specifically the top, is there are occasions when our top bone, the width, it doesn't get as big as the bottom bone or some sort of discrepancy. Maybe the top is a little bit narrow or the bottom is a little big. And what we do is we need to coordinate those bones. If you leave them like that, you can develop what we call cross bites. That's where your top teeth, at least in one variation, your top teeth rest on the inside in the very back, kind of like this. 
See that right there? Oh, I get it. If your top teeth are on the inside of your bottom teeth, or if, it, if the bone is narrow, then that can lead to your bite hitting in weird places. And some of the kiddos will be doing this. Or like that. We don't want that. At least we don't want that long term. And so what the expander on the top does is you get it in your mouth, glued in, we turn the key, it spreads everything else out wide, and it re-coordinates the jaws. There are orthodontists who love the expanders and how it can help with development. But the first thing, like I said, that's probably the most important reason for an expander is to correct cross bites in the back that cause you know, your jaws to shift around. Mm -hmm. We want the top teeth to be on the outside of the bottom teeth. Okay, so that's the major, major reason for expanders. Then expanders can also be used to create space. When you spread things out on the top bone or top teeth or the bottom teeth, you actually get space in between the other teeth. And sometimes that can be used or that can be helpful to other permanent teeth that haven't come down yet, like our premolars or our permanent canines. Sometimes we use expanders to help with maxillary impacted canines. Remember that? The infamous impacted canine. That sounds awful. Creating space or having space between adult teeth or baby teeth while you're still getting the rest of your permanent teeth coming in is a good thing. It can help other permanent teeth come into place. So expanders can also be used to create space. There are other uses for expanders and your orthodontist may recommend uh, an expander protocol for a specific reason. But the two that I just mentioned are probably some of the most common. We want to correct cross bites and maybe create space. So how does one come to acquire an expander? I bet you're gonna tell me. You know what you gotta do. You gotta come see me or some other local orthodontist and we can review with you what we could do and if you even need or if you would truly benefit from an expander or expanders. What ends up happening is you come to the orthodontist. Most orthodontists or one of the most common approaches is once you've decided that you're gonna get an expander, then what they need to do is they need to prepare, assuming that it's for the top. Here's an example. If you're getting a top expander that's gonna get glued in, well, first you gotta get the right size of these metal bands to fit around your teeth. Oh, that makes sense. Each tooth is a different size and you gotta get the right size that fits really snug and tight. In order to get these metal bands in between your teeth or around your teeth, you've gotta put spacers or separators in between your teeth, probably about a week before, maybe a little bit less. Then you've created space, you can fit these bands around your teeth. Once the bands are in, then you either take an impression or a scan. We send that to our awesome orthodontic labs and they make this, voila. They send it back to us, we pop that thing back in and boom, you're off to the races with your very own expander. I hope you're excited. Okay, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Thumbs up for a like on this video and subscribe to the channel so that I can take you on a journey into the world of straight teeth and beautiful bites. That's all I've got. Just a little PFOing so you know where you're going. Pack it out.